All right. This is my um, my uh, really overheater, and I'm gonna take the motor off and replace it. Re replace this pull starter with the um, electric start. This thing goes here, and I just bought this thing, and so that goes inside there. Put that inside there, and then basically it goes in there, and you, zzz, you know, and it it'll start it up. So you have to replace the pull start. I already disconnected this little piece of wire. I don't know the technical names for it because I only just bought this one what four days ago, and I have a Rex X I bought three weeks ago. So in the space of three weeks, I've already bought two. Uh, gas burning cars so I don't know the technical names for these and so I'm gonna I already removed that piece anyways all you had to do is this piece wrapped around like this I used the pliers and I just took it off so now I'm gonna just fold this muffler out of the way I'm for sure other people do it different whatever whatever but this is how I'm gonna do it I've got a little piece of a toothpick I already had ready I'm going to take the, the uh, tube off the fuel. Oh, probably should have did it on the other end so it wouldn't drip out. Yeah. Okay, take it off. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. So now the fuel won't drip out. I'm just going to turn it to the side. Wait, I need to just use another little piece here. Snap it off. Just make sure I'm not using little pieces of wood get inside my fuel system just like this that way I can turn it and what I'm gonna have to do is probably should have drained the fuel but then again I'm a newbie so I have to remove these oh man that's tough yeah oh you know what I should have done first okay Probably shouldn't have done this on the kitchen table, but it's too cold outside in the garage. What I should have done was uh, take this screw off off the throttle here. Let's see how let me see how that's on. Yeah, I can take that screw off the throttle. All right, I actually had that. Actually, my assistant over there is watching the TV. Just to make sure I put this back right. Okay. Keep that there. Now I can turn it over and take the engine off. I'll take that off. The... Oh man, I... fuck me. I got drippage over there. Okay, now I have the vehicle turned over. I'm gonna remove the uh, screws holding the engine kind of easily enough. You have to understand I never did this before. I know some of you on YouTube like to make comments, that's wrong, you should have done it this way, that way. Okay, yeah. I'm sure you're all professionals and whatever, but I'm working on no instructions. Well, there's some instructions there in German. Oh, man. They put that engine in there nice. I got some Loctite I can put on here, too. I'll put some Loctite on there. I have it in my toolbox, though. All right. Now the engine should, after this one, it should just basically come free unless my calculations are wrong nope the engine is out all right the engine is out there you have it 
All right. So basically what I want to do now is use this little hex wrench here. And I have new new um I have new screws that came with this new system. So I'm going to use that on there instead of reuse these old screws. I'm going to use these for something else. It sticks out. Let's see. It's going to be like Christmas. I've never seen inside this before, so All right. That's not good. <laughs> There it is. The pull start is off. It just disconnected. Hey, a little, little quieter over there, Chief. And then this one goes right off. Hmm. Look pretty, pretty simple. Okay, let me just sit the engine down for a second. Actually, it'll stick this into the pipe so no fuel dripped out. And then this came with it these i don't even know what this circle piece is for but no <laughs> once again we're gonna we're gonna find out oh trust me big red right there okay these screws are actually longer if you can see this is the original and this is the replacement it's actually actually a longer screw okay okay i'm back now I determined that this little piece from the instructions is actually a spacer if you need a spacer but I can see from mine this this would go on the top there and then this would go on there but I don't need a spacer with my application this is a R25 whatever engine it's a uh, 2.4 2 horsepower I think 2.4 horsepower and I'm gonna put it in here. This came off a really overheater. Now I'll just take this. Actually, I should just put. All right. I'll just oh, drop that there. Oh, I'm all off the camera. Okay. Everything goes on. And there we go. I'll twist everything back on. Okay, you don't need to see all this stuff, so I'll cut the video and come back when it's fully assembled. Okay, I'm back. Now I've uh, tightened it down. I've used a crisscross pattern, similar to like uh, tighten up a tire on your car. I just used a crisscross pattern and until it was snug. So I'm charging up the battery, but here's the actual tool this will go inside there it will go inside spit in there and you know I like to do sound effects okay and now I have to replace the motor the motor sits back on there my assistant over here let, let me show you the assistant real quick there he is over there he, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's a he's a handful. Okay, <laughs> all right. Let's get back away. Now I'll use the uh, screws. I've already put thread lock on there, so it doesn't fall out. I already have thread lock on there. The screws are lined up. I'll place two screws in there. Get them in position. All right, that's one screw in. There's the other screw there. I want to get it to where it can meet the teeth on the uh, transmission. I have a, a buggy. This is a truggy. A truck buggy. And so we have a uh, Rex X. These are, I guess, European type models or something because I didn't see these on any American websites. All right, let me. Make sure the T 
see to line up right. The meeting. Okay, looks good to me. I'm gonna tighten it down. First, I'll put this throttle screw back. Put that throttle screw back in there. Get it started. Alright, we got the throttle screwed back in.